Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a very moist and soft sour cream pound cake. So let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by preparing our ingredients. In a bowl, sift 3 cups of cake flour and 1 teaspoon of baking powder. When you're finished, set your dry ingredients to the side. Before you start making your cake, make sure that all of your ingredients are at room temperature. The reason it is important to have all your ingredients at room temperature is because it helps the batter easily blend and come together, making it smooth and velvety, while cold ingredients cause the batter to become lumpy and curdled. Once you have prepared all of your ingredients, you can begin making your pound cake. In the bowl of an electric stand mixer, beat two sticks of salted butter until smooth. After you've beat the butter, make sure to scrape the sides of the bowl with a spatula. Next, add a half a cup of vegetable oil and three cups of sugar. Then, cream everything together for about five to seven minutes or until light and fluffy. Your mixture should look like this when you're done. At medium low speed, add 6 large eggs one at a time. After adding the eggs, add 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract, 2 teaspoons of butter flavor, and 1 teaspoon of lemon flavor. Next, mix in 1 cup of sour cream. After mixing in the sour cream, gradually add the dry ingredients. When you mix in your dry ingredients, set the speed to low. Once everything is mixed together and you have finished making your batter, it should look like this. Next, grease a bundt pan with Baker's Joy Non-Stick Spray. Then 
Then evenly pour the batter into the pan. Next, shake the cake pan to even out the batter and bang the pan against the counter to remove any air bubbles. You're going to want to do this a few times and when you're finished, place your cake in the oven at 325 degrees for 1 hour and 25 minutes. When your pound cake has finished baking in the oven, place it on a wire rack and let it rest in the cake pan for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, flip your cake onto a wire rack. Then remove the cake pan and let your pound cake continue to cool. Once your cake has completely cooled, you can go ahead, slice it up, and enjoy. This is optional, but if you want, you can dust your pound cake with powdered sugar. And this is the finished result! This pound cake is so, so good. It's soft, sweet, moist, and delicious. Plus, the recipe is simple and easy to make. Oh, and fun fact, pound cake got its name because the original recipe called for a pound of sugar, a pound of flour, a pound of eggs, and a pound of butter. I just thought that was neat. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.